welcome back all and in today's episode we're going to carry on with that steel I mentioned last episode so first thing we need to make is a rolling machine so a rolling machine is simply four pistons workbench surrounded by iron so let's make that now I've got my autocraft table set up. So this is four pistons. Uh, we need a workbench. So let me grab some wood. Okay, let's make this. Uh, <coughs> To me. So this rolling machine allows you to make steel plates and it needs to be powered so let's place it in our power line. So I'll place it as a good spot as any and we have ourselves some power by that. Why is that doing that? I don't know. Anyway, so what we need to make is some steel plates. So steel plates can be used for a variety of things. Mainly steam power later on. Oops. So we've got this steel plate here. And you can use it for tracks and what I'm going to use it for is the feed stations. You can also use it for steam engines, firebox, but I'm not going to go into that right now. All I really need it for is some st steel plates and you can also use the rolling machine for quickly run over here, show sure now. For a variety of things you can use mixing rails. V bars are for fences. You can make metal posts, all sorts, but you can also make iron plates. And they are used for iron tanks, which I will get into after, so, but for now I'm going to make those feed stations from some steel, so let's go and grab some steel. Did have some here somewhere, there it is. And I need some iron. Let's grab some of that as well. So first off, let's make this steel plates. And we have power, so it's making our steel plates there. So we only need two, but it gives us three. So I can use that for spare later. And I'll set these running while I go and use these steel plates. So we're gonna first thing we're gonna make is a feed station. So we need some golden carrots. So that's four. So that's a carrot surrounded by gold nuggets. So we need four carrots. And a load of nuggets. And what I've done is I've set up a building ready for these feed stations, which I'll show in a moment. One, two, three, four. And just need some wood. So just place the steel plates in the middle. Get a 
carrots. I need another. Need some more. Four. And some more carrots. As I need to make two feed stations. Okay, let's make this. So you got wood. And some steel plates in the middle. So that's two feed stations. Now these can be used to semi-automatically feed your cattle using seeds or uh, wheat. And in this case, I'll be using wheat. And it's gonna be dark outside, so let's get some sleep. There you go. I'm just gonna head out here now and show you what I've been up to. Try here the whisper. So we have a few creepers over there, I see. So, what I've done is I've created this building here, just next to my house, and this is going to hold my cattle. So, these two spots are going to be for the feed stations. And all I've got to do is add some wheat into the box by there, and my cattle will automatically get fed and start breeding. So all I've got to do now is drag some of this cattle into here. So I'll just grab a pair for now. And we can change this room later on when we've researched some more foam craft stuff. And or we will come up with some other idea. As I want to automatically either kill or collect all the loot. I'm not sure I'm going to do it yet. But for now I'm just going to make this sort semi-automatic farm for my cattle. So let me grab some wheat now. What are you doing out here? And <laughs> we plant some seeds. As you can see I've been messing with the farm. I got some melons and some pumpkin growing. And at the back, you can see some nether wart. So that's quite handy for certain things. Especially potions and researching. Now, this is one thing I don't understand is... How did he get on top of this fence? If you know why they're doing that. Please let me know, but I, for now I'm mystified as to why mm. my cat keeps escaping from my mm. fences. Mm. This is part of the reason why I'm making a house over there. So, I'm just going to collect this cat now, um, wheat now, and I'll be right back. Well, my cat are now in their little new home. Hello there, and all I've got to do is just fill up these two sides with the wheat and the other side. And that's all I need to do. So, I, and every now and again, they'll pass this feeder and they'll both breed. And when they've got a room full of cattle, I'll come back here and kill a few. So let's see if they breed now. Mm. I'll come back in a few minutes and we'll see how they're getting on. So that's one building for my cattle sorted out and I'm going to place a few alongside here. Mm and maybe later on adapt it using one of the other mods. I'm not going to say anything yet. 
And the one is spoiler surprise. But it's gonna take a while to do. So now the next task is to make some steel sorry, some iron plates. And we'll come back and check on our cattle after, see how they're getting on. So we've got forty five iron plates. Let's just get one more. Okay. So what we need to do is make an iron tank similar to the blast furnace in construction. And I'm gonna use it for lava. So let's make our tank. Oops. Done that wrong. So the recipe not too sure. Let me just double check. There you go, iron tank wall. And we also need to make an iron tank gauge. So we've got the glass. So let's make some... So let me work out how many we need. So we need nine for the bottom, nine for the top. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we need quite a few. Hmm. Okay, let's make some now. I don't think I got enough, as usual. So that gives us 12. Oh, no. So you do get quite a few. So let's make 16. I might as well convert all these as I'll need them. And we'll need some more iron plates, a sec. So let's use up 32. That should give us enough. Let's grab the rest as well. There we go. Uh, we need to make our gauge. And we also need to make a valve, I believe it was. Yeah, an iron tank valve. So I need iron bars and a lever. So. Have I got my bars ready? I did have some. Probably stare me right in the face. And there. There they are. And I need a lever. So let's make these items now. So I'll leave a and some plates. Gives us four valves, which is plenty. And we also need to make the iron tank gauge. So we need four and glass panes. I got glass panes. And <laughs> we need two more. Quite easy to make. And let this cook up now. Okay. And place them same order. Last pins on the edges, I think it was. Yes, it was. Where's my glass panes? It goes S4. 
gauges. Let's pick up S. Now, I'm going to place these items down below where you remember below my engines but here and this set this bit but here is where I'm going to place my tanks so I'm just going to dig this out now and place it down well we're now ready to place it down and um, while I was here I thought I'd dig out behind and I might use this as a liquid storage room because I'm a expand down that way a bit but for now this is going to be my lava tank for my engines which are going to be here and over here I'm going to have the magmatic and liquid transposer well, that's, well something like that anyway and what I want to do with these is place them down now so similar to the blast furnace Build it up till you've got a four high structure, but you can expand these to five and seven, I think it is. And place our valves in here. So when I place these down now, there you go, one iron tank. I might place two at the back. There you go. Oops. And we have ourselves an iron tank. So we can see through both sides. All I gotta do now is transfer the lava from above. Let's dig these out. And place on my engines down here. So I'm gonna Go and make a few items now, and I'll be right back to finish off this small build. Well, I've got a, a few items now, and I'm not going to build this side yet. I'm just going to build up this side so I can fill the tank. And then we can work on creating the lava and so on later on. For now, I just need some energy to get into there, so let's place our engines down. So I'm going to place these just like that and you may notice that the engines have changed their texture since the feed the latest ma magic pack update. Let's just add these in. And uh, I need the power Going that way. And that just goes up into that. There. there you go. And I just need some liquid pipes, so let's dig underneath this here. Oh, I need a pickaxe while I go there. So let's get these pipes ready. So how shall I do this? Um, so that comes from there and it goes through there. Something like that anyway. So if we let's get rid of this one. Right, I gotta make a pickaxe, I'll be right back. As I was saying, we need to dig under here so we'll place the pipes underneath I think. Let's quickly dig out this. What's that? A surprise at the walls here. Another one there. Right, our pipes. We'll first of all, we got to make a valve. So if I take out this side here, 
and place the valve directly in there. I think I'm doing this wrong, but let's see what happens. There you go. And I need my valves. So I place that there. It should work now, yeah. We're working fine. And place that back by there. There you are, I'll do it. So you can have the valve going in there and out here. So we we'll place this like that. Or shall I go down? Yeah, if I go down like that. And I can cover up this later on. So I'll just bring this forward here. One, two, three. Perfect. And all I need to do is get the and that bit might be wrong so I think I need to make those uh, new pipes uh, I was looking at them earlier is they call liquid ducts you won't need to use engines with them then you use coppers and hardened glass as you remember hardened glass is made by using obsidian pulverized but I've got to go and get some more of that so I'll probably make these by next episode and swap them in. So let's go and... One, two, three, four, five. So I got an idea. If I... There's a reason why I'm doing this. lost the pipe somewhere. So as I need to get the lava into my tank first. As I got those temporary tanks up at the top, remember? So let's quickly run up there. transfer all this liquid into my iron tank. Let's grab some of that. There we go, now we need to place the wooden pipe here. Like so, and place this on top. And this should transfer all this into the tank. So let's get a switch set up. And some fuel. So probably won't need all that fuel, but here it goes. Here we go. And it's pumping all my lava down below. So I'm going to clear these out and we'll go from there. Right, all my lava has been transferred and as you can see it's in the tank now. And I've got about, I don't know how many buckets, eight buckets I think. So it stores quite a lot. So all i got to do now is tidy up here a bit and get an engine in there for now until I make those other liquid duct valves. So I'm going to place an engine right here for now. So I'll use a Stirling engine from a previous episode. So I place that there. And I need a wooden pipe for that. Have I got a wooden pipe? Yes. So if I place that there 
Uh, swap the... There you go. And I need to switch on top of that. So that should work now. Let's just test it. And it should transfer all this into my engines. Let's see if it works. And there goes the lava. One, two, and the third one. Let's turn that off now. So it's more than enough. And we should have power going into our... There we go. And it's charging up our energy cell. So those, that's iron tanks. I'm uh, going to make another one for my coke oven as that is filling up with oil so I need to empty that and I'll empty that into my liquid room and I'll use go and grab some oil and so on later on in another episode and fill up all my liquid tanks so let's that let that recharge now and go and see how our cows are getting on oh, I do need to tidy up here first so let's do that first Uh, leave that open. There we go. And what I'm going to do here is a lava production on this side. Going straight into there. And from there into my engines. So, yeah. Just a little bit of tidying up to do there. And it should look nice, and I'll probably do that by next episode. So let's go see how our cattle are getting on. I'll clear that up later. And remember I put two cattle in, and oh, they're breeding quite nicely, as you can see. Wow, that's... Uh, quite a few in there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So I need to place a lever on this door. we got one, two, three. That is quite a lot. So I'm quite impressed with that. Uh, I just need to top up these feed stations now and again. You can also control the feed stations with switches. So if I place a switch here, I can turn it on and off when I want. But I'll probably just leave it on. So let's add those switches in. Ah, and what I'm going to do is grab all this leather and meat for food. But the leather is going to be to make my enchanted library. So, going quite well so far. Yep. So what other projects have we got lined up? Uh, I'm going to make some other more cattle buildings. I need chickens and pigs and the sheep will come later on. But for now I need chickens. So I'll either make a smaller version of that next to it or something and we'll go from there already uh, my crops are growing nicely right uh, I've also been get rid of that doing some research I haven't done much really if I can find my book but since the latest patch they've uh, added a few things you may notice enchantments so you can add enchantments to mm. items made but they've got to be using form craft items mainly formium items like the pickaxe and the sword and so on mm. 
but they've, I've noticed a few extra things in here. You've got some of these. I've researched this recently. And they found the wand of equal trade. Now this is going to be really handy. So I'm going to be making that by next episode. Which means I can make some buildings really quickly and then just swap up for materials. But I'll show you that again. Got a few, got boots of the traveller but I need some feathers I think. And I'm currently doing an infernal furnace. So we'll discover what this is by next episode. So yeah, I have been busy on that. And underneath my chest you may notice I've got diamond pipes. I'm still setting them up to my preferred sort an order but I got sidetracked with other things as usual so <laughs> I'm just gonna make a few more items in here as well and finish everything off so hope you enjoyed today's episode and I'm gonna clean up those cows a bit and those other things I mentioned and I will see you next episode where I will come up with something else to do, so see you soon.